Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. You're probably wondering, well, what am I up to? Well, I tell you what I'm up to with this little Gucci Bloom box. Is I'm doing a decluttering series, and this is going to be the first. And I'm doing it a little bit different than most people do it. Most people do it by sitting on their floor and having a whole pile of makeup sitting in front of them. Now I can't do that because um, it hurts my back. So I'm taking a different approach and I'm going to have it sitting on my desk where I normally film. It's just that you're not going to be seeing my face. I have my camera tilted down onto my desk where I usually sit with my stuff sitting in front of me. So this box dun, da, da, dun, is full of eyeshadows. <laughs> Like singles and um, quads and duos anyway so we're going to kind of go through this box and I'm showing you what I'm decluttering out of my collection starting um, this new decade 2020 I'm trying to um, just purge out and the products that I can I am going to be selling on my little um, storefront, if you will, on the app called Macari. So after I get this done, then I'll be doing pictures. And if you want, you can go into my Macari app, my page, and it's um, Mrs. Porter Peach. I'll have it in the description box, and you can look and if you're interested in any of this stuff. Anyway. So I'm going to start by just pulling out some of the stuff here and showing you, and hopefully this all goes well. I've recorded this once on my iPhone, and I have an older iMac, MacBook, whatever, and it just would not load up. I was so upset because I spent a lot of time. Anyway, I have some Cat Body D eyeshadows here that I purchased and pretty much with a lot of this stuff, I purchased it, I showed it, I swatched it, probably used it once, maybe twice, stuck it in a drawer and that was the end of that. So I have um, this one in Synergy, then I have it in Electric Warrior and these are all in the Metal Crush shadows. Um, Paranoid and in Thunderstruck. And like I said, all these probably have only been used very, very lightly, and you can see that by looking at them. Just, I know. And why I should not have gotten into the hype of buying them, a lot of this stuff. I'm going to really try this year in 2020 not to do that, not to get caught up in the hype of just buying stuff to be buying it because other people have bought it or because it's on clearance, it's on sale, and because I don't use it. So anyway, those are the Kat Von D Metal Crush eyeshadows that will be there. Um, let's go to this little eyeshadow here that I have from Guerlain, and this is in the Ombre Eclat. I don't know what, what shade this is. It's number 141, and I think this one, I use, I think I use this one quite a bit. Well, no, not really. It's just kind of like a champagne color. It doesn't have the little brush to it, but there you go. That one's going out. Okay, next I have some Laura Mercier eyeshadows. And these are some of the single eyeshadows that I have. Oh, and, and a um, duo. <laughs> I thought these were both, all of these were singles. But anyway, I have the little duo here in a green color. This is the duo in Moss. And as you can see, barely even used. Then I also have this color here in Earthy Glow, which is a really pretty 
brown and then this one here in a really pretty light copper color which is in the color gilded rose glow I'll be able to see that so I have those in the Laura Mercier that I am decluttering out <clears throat> next are some um, long comb products I have three single eyeshadows and then some little um, I don't know what you would call these quads I think that I have here that I'm going to be decluttering as you can see I think these are like gift with purchases possibly this one I may have purchased I'm not for sure no it was a gift with purchase it says not for individual sale these I did purchase um, so this is in the color glamorize which is a shimmer du jour I think which is a metallic that's what that says and click which is a shimmer so there are those that I have in long comb that I am decluttering which I should, guess I shouldn't say decluttering every single one of them because um, that's what this video is is a declutter video so anyway those I am next on deck are my Elizabeth Arden and of course you know I have a quad and a couple of duos and a couple of singles um, this was in a really pretty moss green and then pink and mauve and then some purples and then I have another green and then a pink here that I am decluttering I can't get I can't get past it I just can't but again just really really pretty and this one is in the color Aurora this green is in the color Sirene. The um, duo color here in the green is called Golden Moss. And this one is called Pink Clover. Let me shut the lids on that. This one's Pink Clover golden moss and then this one uh oh I'm gonna have to glue that back in there this one is called um, velvet plum tones is what this one is velvet velvet plum tones so let's see it goes this way so there are those from Elizabeth Arden and I have a couple of things from Meryl Norman. Um, kind of got on a Meryl Norman, Meryl Norman kick very shortly, briefly, and bought a few items, not a whole lot, and used them for a little bit, um, barely, and then I was done. <laughs> with that but anyway so I have the single eyeshadow is in the color pink truffle and then the trio here is in um, wistful and the singles that are in there are make my daisy pretty girl and violet Fem femme which is there's a semi two semi mats and one luminous in here the middle one is a luminous and these other two are semi mats so anyway it was kind of ironic when i went into the um the local merrill norman shop that we have not here in the town that i live in but in the town that one of our pawn shops is at and the lady that owns it and runs it her name is janie also i thought that was kind of fun so when i found that out of course i had to I had to buy something so I bought these two and I think I bought a blush 
also, but I probably, I haven't gone through my blushes yet. It's really hard for me to get rid of blush. I really like blush. And so, <clears throat> I don't like to declutter blushes, so. <laughs> anyway, there's my Merle Norman. And then I have some MAC items that I'm going to be decluttering. Um, one is still brand new in the box. And this one is the Extra Dimension, dimension Eyeshadow in the color um, Sea Worship. I know it's some from some collection that they did. You know how MAC does. They do all these collections. I no, here lately I haven't heard so much from MAC. People going all gaga over MAC. See, this one's not even swatched or anything bought it because you know this was all the hype with all this really pretty packaging you know it looks like it's got water drops all on it and even the packaging had the water drops all on it but I never even used it just had to have it and there it set and then this one here is um, Rabble Rouser Magic Dust Eyeshadow it's like this reddish pink. I can't make this work on my eyes. It makes me look like one of those um, white rabbits with the red eyes, you know. Yeah, it's not a good look on me. So I, I can't do this at all. <laughs> so that, no. And then this one here is in the color 300 Game, which is a matte it's a really pretty um, dark, 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 um, like a purpley color. See, I mean, it's really pretty, but I have it in a lot of my other eyeshadow palettes that I'm keeping. So there's no point in keeping a um, single eyeshadow of it. So some singles of some different brands here, like a Stila one. Let me get. Let me get over here where I'm supposed to be. There we go. I have a Stila, which is in the color Golden Topaz. A Laura Mercier, not Mercier, Laura Geller. In the color Golden Honey, which I think was like really, really popular there for a while. Everybody was talking about it. So, of course, you know I had to get it. Um, look like that really really pretty and then these again there for a while everybody was talking about these I think at one time you could get these at Sephora they were the um, what brand were these <clears throat> one is in rose gold and one is in the color Sunday oh, what brand were these Manuka Honey Enriched, for one thing. Ardent CN, that was it. Ardent CN. Remember these? Everybody was talking about the Ardent CN eyeshadows, and everybody was going all gaga about them. And then, I think they all just kind of disappeared. I mean, really pretty and everything, but... I know I have like colors like these in eyeshadow palettes, especially like my um, Natasha Denona palettes or even my um, Viseart palettes. So that's why I am decluttering. Next up are my NARS um, single eyeshadows that I have with their icky packaging. <laughs> I hate this rubberized packaging because they get dirty and you can't clean it and it just looks bad. But anyway, here we go. Here we go. Let me open these up and show you. Oh, that one's cracked. These have been sitting on my floor and my little kids, my babies have been playing with this stuff and this is not the first thing that they have broken. So I'm going to pull that one out. That one's not going. <laughs> they broke. I see. They got one of my um, 
Becca highlighters. I forgot which one it is, but you know how fragile those are. And had it here in my bathroom. He was throwing it around like a hockey puck. And of course it shattered to pieces. And it's just a little baby. He's 10 months in. Anyway, okay, here's this eyeshadow. This one is in the color Night Snow. Then we have Lola Lola right here. Cypress. <coughs> oh, there's a glare. That mirror. And then um, California. So those four. Turn these around the right. It's hard to do because in my viewfinder everything's backwards. So I have those that I'm going to be doing away with. But I have more, but oh, that one broke. <coughs> I just don't use them. And I had depotted a whole bunch of my NARS eyeshadows. Thinking I would use them and haven't touched them since. And it's mostly these little duos that I'm getting ready to show you. So let me get them all laid out. All of these duos that I hadn't depotted that I decided I'm not going to depot and just sell. So here we go. This one, everyone went crazy over this one. Okay, let me do it this way. I'm going to just show you one by one. This one is in the color Bohemian Gold. It's a light glare from that light. I turned it down a little bit. Bohemian Gold. That one. And I have this one, which is a pretty purple and bluish color, <clears throat> which is Jolie Poppy. <laughs> I don't know. Get it on the camera. I probably shouldn't do that because I can't. one was Tokyo. I need to leave them on the on the thing. This one I hadn't opened yet. There you go. But this one right here, this one everybody was trying to get, which is the Kawaii when it first came out. <coughs> Kawaii. This one is Mandatory. <laughs> their names. Madragi. Yeah, their names are horrible. Tokyo. I think I said that one. St. Paul Da Vinci. And Paramaribo Mar or something like that. I don't know. They're all, they're too hard to, to say. And here's the two that, put it over here, that I um, showed you already. Tried to show you up close. There. There you go. So those are going to be gone. Doing away with some of my Milani single eyeshadows. Mm. Just never use them. They're pretty eyeshadows and everything. I just never use them. Same way with this little Mally single eyeshadow. This one is in called Mally's Glow. Right there. It's like a bronze color. Then I have the Bella Bronze. Bella Cappuccino. Bella Champagne. 
and Bella Purple. All going away. Open all these up so you can see them. We are almost done, and the next category. Okay, here are the last category, or the last of them, and this is my Chanel quads that I am going to be pulling out. I just don't ever use them, so there's no point in them just sitting in my collection. Um, I might as well pull them and let somebody else enjoy them. So, let me open them up. And that's what we got. Well, if I can get it open. <clears throat> Pull these away. That way you can just see these to start with. So this one here is called the Topaz Golden. Topaz Golden. This one is 238 Tissa Tissi Tissa Paris. I don't know how to pronounce most of these. And then this one here is 42 Seduction. This one is called 236 Fantasy. This one is Winter Nights, Winter Nights, Fantasy, Winter Nights, and then this one is Two ninety two Jardins Eclectantis. I don't know. Anyway, there are those. So those are my Chanel quads that I am getting going to be eliminating out. So So there we go, that is my singles, my duos, my quads that I am pulling out for the year 2020 out of my collection. I still have a lot that um, at the end of the year that I probably need to, to purge, we'll see. But this is a good start because these are things that I know that I haven't touched in a very long time. I still have my Tom Ford. I do still have a few of my Chanel's that I did keep. And I still have all of my NARS duos that I depotted. I still have all those. What else? I did keep my oh, 
oh, I can't remember what they're called. But anyway, I did keep quite a bit. And we'll see at the end of the year um, if I've used any of that stuff. If I haven't, then I may do another purge at the end of 2020. But anyway, I think this is quite a bit. I do my next purge declutter video is going to be my eyeshadow palettes. And um, it's really hard for me to get rid of palettes too. Um, but I have a, quite a bit of a stack over there on the floor that I'll be showing you. But anyway, this is a, a good start right here. I think, especially with me getting rid of my Chanel. <laughs> so, but anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you have enjoyed and maybe was inspired to go through your collection and, and do a purge also. Anyway, um, have a great day and I'll be... Um, Seeing you soon.